Hello, and thank everyone for joining us today. I'm joined with a lot of special guests, and I appreciate them taking the time. Um, but I did want to first acknowledge uh, the Children's Month uh, for hosting us here today. And no stranger to helping Inland Empire uh, families, the Children's Fund uh, was established uh, in 1986 and has helped over a million Inland Empire families, uh, those families who need it the most. And when the Children's Fund uh, has a conversation with them, uh, we know it's when families need the help and need the support. And so uh, I thank them uh, for all that they do to help Inland Empire families. And I wanted to talk about one policy that's going to help Inland Empire families um, next week. And that's the expansion of the child tax credit for 2000, uh, for 2021. Uh, this was one of the provisions that Democrats fought for um, in the American Rescue Plan, and it will lift up over 20,000 uh, children and families in poverty here in our region. It goes a long way to putting money in people's pockets uh, here in the Inland Empire. And let me just describe how this works, because the American Rescue Plan authorized advance payments uh, to families uh, for the child tax credit through this year, through December of 2021. So beginning next week, July 15th, and every month until December, families will receive up to $300 per month per child uh, under the age of five. That number goes down to $250 uh, for children uh, six to 17 years of age. Families will get the remainder of the expanded uh, child tax credit uh, when they file their 2021 uh, tax return. And that expanded number is up to $3,600, which is $1,600 above the current um, uh, legal number. So this is a crucial step. Those are a lot of numbers. But this is a crucial step towards supporting the future of children and families in our region. And I'm working with my colleagues and the Biden administration to make sure that we expand this benefit uh, permanently. To check the eligibility, we want to remind folks to look at irs.gov and to use the child tax credit portal. Um, you may have also received eligibility information in the mail, um, letting you know that you are eligible for the expanded benefit. Uh, as well as um, a letter indicating the exact number and the benefit that you might be receiving. Um, most families don't need to take action to qualify, and they will have already received the notices. Now, with me today, we wanted to, to highlight and talk about um, and talk to two families uh, who are affected. Um, and like I said, over 90% of Inland Empire families uh, will receive this expanded benefit. Um, but we wanted to hear from a couple here today. And so first I'm gonna ask uh, Josefina to come up um, and share a little bit about uh, her story and her family. How are you? We're doing good. Um, my name is Josefina Andrade, and I am participating in the Pre-ABT program, and it helps me by um, getting the, the food and the drinks and stuff that I need for uh, my daughter Ayana. She's a very picky little girl. But um, with this, it helps me get what I need to get her instead of making her eat stuff that she doesn't like. And it also helps me by um, saving money so I can pay my utilities and rent. And I just, it helps me a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing, and I wanted to ask Desiree to also uh, share a little bit about uh, her family and her story. Hi, my name is Desiree. This, uh, that the pre-EBT2, it helps me with, I have three kids, and it's, the, for me it's hard for having a single mother of three, and me getting the EBT card will help me able to get what they need as of food, clothing, and um, able to get what uh, any other kids need as internet. What would, what is a direct payment going to mean to you? What would it, how would it help? It would help me. Additional outside of the EBT. Um, it would help me for able to buy my, um, my rent and utilities. And be able to um, pay for, um, what things are for my kids need. As they get ready to go to school? Yes. Got, 
It's ready to go to school yet, and then he's dipping in. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. You're welcome. Uh, again, I just want to thank uh, the families who uh, participated and, and shared in their stories. We know that direct payments uh, to families are going to have a lasting impact as students get ready to go back to school, as our economy opens up. Um, putting more money in people's pockets uh, here in the Inland Empire is going to have a lasting effect uh, to, to these children and, and their families. Again, I just wanted to thank uh, the Children's Fund and, and Sid, thank you so much for everything you do for Inland Empire families and have done uh, for a number of years uh, and for helping uh, those families who most need it um, find the support uh, that they need and connect them to the local resources uh, that are available. So I want to thank Josefina and Desiree, um, and we know that uh, that we can count on uh, additional help and support from the nonprofit community and from your governmental partners uh, and those of us who will continue to, to fight for, for working families. And again, for those who need uh, a reminder, uh, irs.treasury.gov um, slash free tax prep is also a website that will help um, folks um, seek a free tax advice. And my office will continue to be a resource uh, for Inland Empire families on 909-890-4445 or you can visit our website at agular.house.gov uh, to get the latest information uh, on what we're doing to help uh, Inland Empire families. So thank you so much uh, to the families who joined us. Um, I look forward to supporting uh, the Inland Empire um, and talking about this benefit because I think it is so meaningful and will have a lasting impact. So thank you so much for joining. Yeah. <laughs>